Hey guys, Dre Avent back for part two with Jerron Johnson. Part one, we talked about Seattle Seahawks related topics, his play, his goals for next season. Now we're going to get into a little charity work and then later the three minute play with DA, personality based. You guys love this. So, Jerron, tell me a little bit about this seven on seven. We were talking about this. Los Alamitos, mm -hmm. May. 13th, right? May 13th, yes, the yeah. day before Mother's Day. Yes. Day before Mother's Day, so I love what you're doing. You're doing it with Orlando Scandrick. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? What is that all about? Love to see you doing big things in the community. Uh, we just really wanted to give back, you know, somehow like a camp or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we really wanted some competition. So mm -hmm. instead of doing a camp, we put together the 707 tournament. You know, the winner gets a, uh, gets a prize. Mm -hmm. The winning school, so you have to register through your high school. No doubt. And, and how can um, they do that? The flyer is on my Instagram, JUS underscore show off. Uh, it's also on, on Orlando, Sc Orlando Scandrick's Instagram, which is um, oskandrick32, I believe. <laughs> okay. But, but you're uh, following him so they can find it on that. Yeah, so. I mean, it, <laughs> it's, on my, it's on my page, um, you know, the registration info. Okay. So you register. We just want to get some great competition. Mm -hmm. You know, we pl both play de a defensive back. Right. So, I mean, we don't really know too much about offensive linemen or whatever. But eventually we want this thing to grow so we can get offensive linemen involved and defensive linemen involved. But... Yeah. Just want we just want to see some good competition. Nice. Well, it's really big what you're doing in the community and Orlando Scandrick. That's your boy. I know yeah. you celebrated his birthday with him recently. Why is that your guy? Why are you guys uh, just back from Boy these Boise days? State? Okay. Well, yeah, okay. we both went to Boise State together. Uh, so it started back in college. Yeah, he was there a year before me, you know, and so when I got in, he kind of embraced me with open arms and nice. you know took me took me under his wing. Mm -hmm. But you know, we we pretty, he's a year older okay. than me, but you know, that's like my big brother. <laughs> oh wow, so. one whole year. Yeah, that's like my, that's like my big brother, man. You know, he right. played as a true freshman, I red shirted. Mm -hmm. So you know, as I was red shirt I kinda, you know, got it to sit back and watch him play. But that's good though. A lot of people with college teammates they don't keep rocking with each other. So there's something about him right. where you guys just Nah, I mean, you know, we, we had a pretty good brotherhood, man. You know, yeah. at Boise State, you know that, that Tight knit group, you know. I still keep in contact with quite a few of my guys. No doubt. All right. Well, it's time for the three minute play with DA, personality based. Let's find out more about this guy off the field. You guys love this. So uh -oh. here we go, Jay. Rapid fire questions. Tell me first thing that comes to Ooh. mind. Okay. Best movie of all time. Best movie of all time. I'm biased. Menace to Society. Okay. Okay. What puts Menace to Society over Boys in the Hood? Two similar movies. I don't know. I just like, I like Boys in the Hood is a good one as well. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm just I watch Men's Society every day. Okay. I ask, Damn, is it too late to take <laughs> no, my No, go ahead. No, you, let's go. You can audible. This is we, we can make a change. <laughs> one of my all-time favorites, what? Friday After Next. Okay. Yeah. Friday After Next. Yeah, that's one of my all-time favorites. No. Favorite holiday. Favorite. What's that one holiday the other? Thanksgiving. Why is Thanksgiving just the one? Family, you know, most of the time that's when the whole family get together and get food as well. No doubt. You know, moms and granny do their thing in the kitchen. Cooking it all up. <laughs> I'm in there too. You know, my mom, grandma, I'm in there too. I bet y'all didn't know I could cook. But, all right, favorite thing about the 12s? I know when I've covered games, I've literally come back and had a ringing sound in my ear for like a week after being on the sidelines there. What is the best thing about Seattle Seahawks that, fans? Twelve. That energy they give you, man. My yeah. first game back, you know, the second time around. Uh, <laughs> I know. That, that energy is ridiculous, man. You don't, yeah. you don't get that everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty special. Best restaurant in Seattle. Where's that go-to place? Um, Just like, I, I, I got to eat there. What's that place? I could not even call it. Oh, the Steakhouse in Bellevue. Nice. John Howie's. John Howie's Steakhouse in Bellevue. What, what is it about that that just makes it just A1? Oh, their steaks are awesome. The steaks are on point, man. Okay, uh, I like steak. I'm a meat yeah, person, so yeah, I'm going to have to try that next it's time not like It's nothing like a nice cooked steak, man. So John Howie's in Bellevue. There you the go. All right, I want to talk to you about Richard. I know that's your boy. Mm -hmm. Favorite memory with Richard off the field? It could be anywhere from high school all the way through, off the field memory that just really stood out with the friendship that you guys have. What's that? What's that memory? I mean, my memories with him. Okay. okay. Really, just he. he I, I told him this recently, honestly. He he uh, helped motivate me and others to go to college. Okay. Because he was. What did he say? What is that? What was he? What was he? What was he? Just popping what, off about. Uh, he was gonna be the he he, he was he I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna get a D1 scholarship and I'm going to the league. Those were his words. Mm -hmm. 
as if it couldn't be done on my end as well. That's how I took it, you yeah, know. Yeah. So I took it as a challenge, and he helped motivate me to, you know, try to try to outdo him a little bit. I really like that, yeah. Richard, giving a little <laughs> pep for in his step. Not, for his, I don't for think his he was purposely doing it. He was just talking his mess. But yeah, but you it, took it like that. Oh, yeah. He may have not been trying to do that, yeah. but that's how you took it like that. Yeah, he helped motivate me. All right, favorite dessert. What's I got a sweet tooth, so I always have to ask about dessert. I'm gonna give you two. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna give you two restaurants. Okay. That I like their desserts. Okay. Cheesecake to limoncello cake. Oh, I haven't tried that one yet. And then the, the pizzuki, you can't go wrong with pizzuki. Yeah, yeah that's like go. that's like classic. All right, but last the two. The limoncello cake. Limon trust me. I gotta try that. All the times I've been there, I never tried that. Last two, last two. Favorite actress. I like Tarazi. Yeah. I like she's Tarazi. A real... Yeah, I like Tarazi. I like I like her rolling baby boy. Yeah, a that's crush, a classic. I had a crush on her back right there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, now I'm a big Tupac fan, so I have to ask you, what's your favorite Tupac song of all time? There's so many good ones, but movies coming out this summer. What's like our number one Tupac song? Uh, or top two. You can go with top two because I know it's hard. Snoop, one with Snoop Gangster Party. Mm -hmm. I listen to that's on my playlist uh, yeah. before games. I like that one. Those so that's kind of hype music yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, he got dear. My, I mean, you, Pac, you can go on and on about Pac. You <laughs> and you know what? Okay, mine is checkout time. Is that random? You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a wild story about that. Can, that, can that you was, say it on camera or? That, that was that was a song in my house oh, in really? college. In college, <laughs> you wake up in the morning, you hear that song checkout playing. Checkout time. It was a good inside <laughs> joke. <laughs> We're going to close that one. All right, John. Thank you so much for hanging out. It was great being here in Long Beach. Lion's Den is popping here. I know you gave out free haircuts here yeah. during the season. We're going to do it again this summer. Okay. This summer. When are you guys doing that? Back to school haircuts. Okay. Right here at the Lion's Den. We're going to get it going. Hopefully, we have a way bigger turnout this year. Yeah. Free haircuts. You don't have to pay any any money. I know. That's what, that, what I messaged you about that. I said, wow, it's completely free. You're like, yeah, yeah everything's completely free. You don't have free. to do anything but show up, sit in a chair, and get your hair cut. We're going to try to make it even bigger, get some backpacks and, you know, whatnot going. Um, but, yeah, at the Lion's Den Barbershop, just come through whenever you need a cut. Uh, they'll take good care of you here, man. Yeah. It's a great environment here. I just want to thank... Lions and everybody here for having us. It was real. It was fun. And JJ, look forward to seeing you next season. Thank Keep a look you. out. Part Thank one you. and part two. DA, JJ.